next, we have Eric Chow Kinman with 4 times MDRT. Greetings, MDRT. Most business owners do not like to lose. If without proper business planning, they will sure lose. Following are the questions which I ask the business owners. When was your last time to talk with your business partner on a matter of death? What arrangements has been made or planned for the business? And what is your business exit strategy? Now, Mr. Kain, do you want to become the good guy or the bad guy to your business partner? Imagine your business partner passed away and his wife come to you and say, Hey, I need to have 20,000 monthly salary, which is the same as my husband, so that I can maintain all my family expenses. Mr. Client, would you agree to give her 20,000 monthly salary? Are you the good guy or the bad guy? If you do not agree, it is really pity to the widow. She might not survive financially on her own. Worst case, if she does not have a job or income, how is she going to feed the family and the children? How is she going to live on? She has his husband company shares, but zero income. This does not help her at all. People might criticize you as you do not show empathy to the widow. So, in this case, you are the bad guy. If you agree to pay her 20,000 money salary, you are not making justice to the company and other stakeholders. As a widow, she might not have the knowledge and skills to run the business, meaning, she is not contributing to the business. How can a business spend 240000 a year without any return? Once again, you are labelled as the bad guy for making this decision. Either way, you are the bad guy. And this is a lose-lose situation. What if I tell you there is a way to turn the lose-lose situation into a win-win situation and help you to buy out the shares at a fraction of your company value. The solution is simple, to set up a buy-sell agreement with funding. Assuming business owners A and B own 50% shares each and the value of the company is 10 million. Let's draft an agreement that if either owner passes away, the deceased owner will need to sell his shares to the surviving owner. And we need is to prefix the selling price, which is 5 million for the 50% shares. It is very important to agree on the selling price, don't you think? Imagine what will happen if the deceased wife says she wants to sell it at 6 million as she believes the company worth more. Can you imagine how much time and energy you need to spend to negotiate the selling price? What happens if she stands firm on her selling price? How much more money you need to spend? Is this fair to you? Hence, fixing the selling price is important. Now, assuming the selling price is fixed, next step, we need to make sure the funding is confirmed to be available. Imagine that you do not have enough funds to buy over the company shares. Are you able to borrow the funds in a short period of time? What is your credit line with the bank? Some of we are talking about millions of ringgit. If without funding, the buy-sell agreement will not work. 
the most efficient way is to leverage through life insurance funding. You do not need to prepare 5 million to purchase 5 million worth of shares. You only need to pay a fraction of the 5 million to secure the funding and at the end, you will get the 5 million worth of shares. In this case, you got yourself a discounted price. Does this sound good to you? Now, selling price fixed, funds are available, the plan gets executed. The surviving owner gets the company shares. The diseased family gets 5 million and the business operation does not get disrupted. You are happy, the diseased family is happy with the 5 million. With this, we solve few concerns here. First, agreed on the selling price. Second, the funds to buy over the shares. Third, avoid the business disruption. And four, no interruption from the diseased family on demanding on the market salary. Number five, the value of the business is preserved. As most cases, business value will drop tremendously when the owner passes away. And number six, you got yourself discounted price. Hence, this is a good business exit strategy for business owners. Thank you.